Mr. Speaker, it's very appropriate that we are debating Motion 103 today on the International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. Motion 103 asks the government to undertake a study to combat systemic racism and religious discrimination, including Islamophobia. According to Statistics Canada, Jews are the most targeted religion when it comes to hate crimes. And sadly, I have seen this firsthand in my own writing of Pierre Fondollar. A local synagogue, the Gutnik Mazel Center, was defaced with hateful graffiti last summer. And when that happened, I reached out to Rabbi Yarmish to let him know that our government and the whole of our community stands with him in condemning this cowardly act. The year before, during my election campaign, as I was driving home at the end of the night, I passed one of my posters that was defaced with a swastika. And I didn't have any clippers on me to take the, that poster down, so I called my campaign manager and asked him to take that down first thing the next morning. However, when he got there, the poster was already removed. And that's when I first learned about this incredible young man, Corey Flesher. And Corey has made a part of his life's work to take down hateful graffiti in any form, whenever and wherever it shows up in Montreal. Whether it's a synagogue, a mosque, or a church, people know that they can call Corey Flesher and he will show up and deal with it. And my heart is warm to know that that young man is out there. But there is much more work to be done. When it comes to hate crimes, the rate of crimes against Muslims has more than doubled over the last three years. And as we saw with the tragic events that took place in Quebec City, Islamophobia can have horrific consequences. But growing Islamophobia did not rise up in a bubble. There are extremists who commit hateful crimes, terrorist crimes in the name of Islam. And their actions always make the news. This in turn is seized on by certain individuals who demonize an entire people and who sow the seeds of fear all in an effort to gain political power. After the massacre in Quebec City, I attended a number of vigils that were held in solidarity with the victims, the families, and the Muslim community at large. At one of those vigils, I met the widow of one of the murdered men. And I have said that lady was completely deflated, crushed, and could not look me in the face. She has a baby and a toddler, two young boys who will never know their father. She was surrounded, but she was alone, because she will carry the full weight of that hateful crime for the rest of her life. And there were no words I could say that would make a difference. However, words do make a difference. Words of hate have an impact. Hateful words were said over and over again till they incarnated themselves in the weak mind of a young man with hate in his heart. And that young man went to a mosque and murdered six men who were guilty simply of praying. There are those who will not support this motion because it contains a word that they don't like, Islamophobia. There are those who won't support this motion because it doesn't contain a word they want, or a phrase, or a comma, or a sentence. There are those who say this motion will introduce Sharia law, or it will curtail free speech. This is completely untrue. You can argue about a word, a comma. You can give yourself any number of reasons for not speaking out, for taking no action, for voting against this motion. And if you do nothing, you don't have to worry, because you will not feel the burden of this crime. That young widowed lady, she will carry all the weight for the rest of her life and the rest of the life of her children. She carries the load of that hateful crime. So I ask all members in this House to stand together as leaders of our nation and support this important motion. But more importantly, I ask all Canadians to stand shoulder to shoulder with each other. 
I ask that we do not allow ourselves to be divided along racial or religious lines. I ask that we all stand together as one nation. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Resuming debate, the honourable member for Flamborough.